Nice that you're watching. For today, we are going to finish off this gadget. I actually tried to do an intro for about three times, but I'll guess this is the right one. So I had a little bit of feedback onto this gadget, and I take all the feedback very seriously. Now, first of all, I asked you guys, should I take the higher type of balcony with a beam underneath so we can hang up the chandelier, or should we take the lower one? And I had one comment of Soy saying, higher balcony looks much greater in my opinion. Also, like that stair support underneath the wooden beam for the chandelier. Yeah, thank you for that feedback. Uh, so we're going to take the higher balcony, and Xavier Lupe said, not convinced by the beam idea not sure if there is a proper texture to make it look nice so you know he agrees with the idea but there needs to be something with a nice texture for it uh, so we're gonna take a look at that and he said on the side note why such a small entrance won't a 3x3 or 3x4 look better than 1x2 I'm not really a mad type of guy, but I believe one by two means uh, one block in the depth and two blocks high, which basically means a one door. Uh, I also find that mixing different versions of the same blocks help with detailing, and you're absolutely right about that. Uh, I've been, you know, now and then I'm watching some of these Minecraft build videos of B00 or Coralis, and these guys are amazing builders. and these guys are really mixing up all kinds of block to give it even more detail uh, rather than just you know get the detail of the block like we have this nice outline on the top of there which is from one block but mixing colors is also a thing and i'm going to take this feedback uh, for season five very seriously and also i got an idea because you said i need to mix more things and there is only one way to mix more things and i'm going to need to make a display building where i'm going to put down at least one type of all blocks and of course behind this one block i need to have like the smaller stockpile and just fill it up with that one type of block so when i want to make a new building i can take a closer and better look at all of the different blocks and try to combine some of these blocks so his idea was like um uh, as no um not aslar uh, Genice. Now, Genice is something that I didn't really came across to. I believe I found one random Genice block somewhere, and I don't know where I left it. So, I went searching for Genice, and apparently it is the most uh, lowest level where you need to search for it. So, I went to my gold mine, because my gold mine is the lowest uh, mine that I have, and I start drilling into the ground, uh, trying to search for genites, and apparently I need to, you know, dig like 15 layers below, and then I find a whole bunch of genites. But for now, I just need to leave the genites out of this, um, this building down here, or else it's going to take even more time. Uh, so thank you a lot for that. I did talk your advice of the better or bigger entrance into this building and i don't know if you already have noticed something but this building is actually wider um the last time we stopped you have that uh, the piece of wall over there i you know what i need i need like a, a stick or something with a yeah <laughs> you need to look at the point of this uh, this tool i'm holding you see that this wall in the last episode was just as wide as this wall just as wide as that wall and <clears throat> excuse me i tried to implement uh, something with two doors but because this is a uneven building it is insanely difficult to cram in two doors here uh, i try to you know cram the doors sideways so when you come up the stairs go here the first thing you do is cross two doors and the same from this side cross two doors yeah, but the point is that the hallway will still be one block wide, which is silly, you know, having four doors, uh, entrance, and then have one block to go to the next room. So, there was only one solution for me to do, and that was demolish the whole front of the building and both sides of the building, and just made the whole building 
two blocks wider which I did I just broke everything down except for the back wall uh, so it looks maybe a slight little bit different but now when we come up we got oh <laughs> chicken doors on both sides so we now have like a, a more of a logic entrance compared with you know the two big um, holes down here and also another thing what I could have done is just make this a little bit wider but the the, the thing is uh, if I would have made this section wider the archway would have been ending up like you know a pointy thing and I don't really like that it's too pointy so that is the reason why I just broke down the whole building and made it two blocks wider uh, but it also brought in a very good thing because the good thing is because I got more space the benches actually fit in way better because first I had to kind of place it in the middle and, and it looked weird There is like a small pathway on both sides I cannot place the benches near the wall because the detailing stuff is just too low for it to disappear We have seen that um, the last time if I would place this here You know it, it's going to act weird and I understand that it does that but you know I need to solve it and on this way your idea of bigger entrance gave more space to the benches and so the benches are now here i just made them all and this is the way how i just placed everything back i placed the holes on top rather than on a stand i placed these guys right here because once again if i place it here in the corner the detail will be weird if i place it here and then you know, the people who are sitting up front get a face burnt and that kind of stuff. So it actually brought a lot of good ideas or good things. I also made this pillar right down there, but it didn't look very good because it was right here up the window and it didn't felt like good. So I left the pillar out. Uh, so, you know, for the future, when we're going to make another God Church in the Epic Building season, Things are going to be a lot bigger. I'm not going to make it a ridiculous big, but having a little bit more space can make things look a little bit more better. Uh, also, the thing that has changed, um, well, if you go up here now, it's like you're going to go up right away. And there's something wrong with this piece of stairways because I'm getting blocked. Uh, while on the other side, if I go up, it doesn't happen. I don't know what it is. It's very strange. Um, so, yeah, he was speaking about, uh, Safety Lupe was speaking about that the texture looked weird. So I changed the beam and I took something without the red lines. But I have to be honest, that texture there should be horizontal instead of vertical because, yeah, it. I, it doesn't feel correct, right? it feels like it's weak, so I'm going to need to find a piece of a beam and make that look different. Now, what I've also been doing is up front, I actually wanted to make a window, but it didn't work out because the stairways uh, that goes up where was blocking apart. I actually made like this inclined piece here and there. I made it at the bottom. And I wanted to make it on top and I wanted to make like a, a round window in there and but it didn't look good Which is a little bit of a shame um, But like I said in for the future we are going to make things a bit bigger and uh, It probably will fit better and you know there are all kinds of things you need to keep in mind This is a season one. It is my first season of this game uh, It kind of looked okay from this angle having the window in there um yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm, I'm positive about making the building uh, wider. It brought a lot of good things. Uh, so yeah, for today, I really, really, really would like to uh, finish this thing off. Now, the reason why I'm carrying a few couple of alls is I don't know if I could really show it to you indoors. Uh, I need to have the other one. Now, I wanted to place this here. And then if I can do it at least, uh, maybe I can do it better from the top. Uh, so one there and uh, one here. That's correct. And one there and then just place an all on top of it, you know. I think that will look uh, kind of cool. 
and also on the inside have a ore right down there of course turn this thing around and right down there there we go okay beautiful so now we got like holes in the sky and you know it's getting dark but let me just um oh yeah i have another surprise um i will just place these things uh, in a second uh, i'm all over the place so you can also see i've changed a piece of road here so what i have in mind for the future i talked about the display building which i'm going to need in order to combine things better and to see what blocks i have in the future what i want to do is make a two lane road going that way i'm not planning on to go all the way around to some other spot but the two lane road is going to go until here somewhere and i got a lot of space to make a building which is going to be very needy in order to make better creations uh, so i changed this into a one-way road because you know i had to expand the stairs and i wanted to place a stop sign back it is only a shame we don't have like um one street signs so you know like here will be a sign saying no entry and on the other side it will just show like a, a blue board with a, a white arrow on it um maybe there are mods for the future and I made something, <laughs> I made these things, and to be honest, I was expecting them to be a little bit smaller than that. Uh, but they kind of fit in here, I guess, you know, something like that. And, and one down here, just perfectly with some space between in. So now we also got these, um, these old school looking lights in here. Oh, <laughs> I uh, I think I need to move the uh, the entrance. Uh, it won't be too much of a problem. I just need to you know mess around. And when I'm gonna make this road, anyways, uh, this solar park things need to stand a little different. But it will be fine. Uh, this pole is blocking the entrance here. So yeah, look at these holes on top. It gives a little bit of color change. And let's take a little look now. The point is these beams they are not the best beams because you know the way how the texture uh looks like um but i am not sure if all of those uh, types of wood look the same it's weird how it's inclined and not inclined we need this but then vertical horizontal Ech. can i not no, it won't change. Okay. Mm, how about no? It's yeah. All of these pieces seem to be facing the same way. Yeah, it's facing the same way. No, I don't. Oh, these are nice tables. Mm. Um. Yeah, except for these ones, but it has like yeah the outline. No, thank you. Now the whole troublesome thing is when you got one type of wood at a, you know, like a carpentry workbench, you do not really realize how many pieces of wood there actually are. Because at my advanced carpentry workbench, I ran out of wood. And basically when you have no wood at all, it will show all the options that are available. And if I would do let me just say no not with this one um this one right now this one so if i would do this it will only show three options and why are there actually different type of boards because you cannot use boards as a building material can you a uh, healing locks it will only show a few couple and there is so many of these locks uh, that you really don't realize it. And that's why a display and emptying out all of the stuff is going to be very handy. Now, let me see. I don't believe you could use normal. Yeah, you can. But I think I talked about this last time. You know, it, it doesn't look too bad. It, it, it looks more logic to say that these logs are facing horizontal rather than vertical uh, only the bottom side looks a little bit strange though and yeah we need to play around with something and i'm going to need to choose something 
So the advanced lumber stuff is not gonna work. And the the hewn logs are partly going to work. I wish there was something darker. It's all so light. And this is what I mean. I should just, you know, take one block like that. Take one block like that. Etc. And then, you know, I have a better look on how things look, right? And I could do this and it says hardwood hand lock. You know, the only problem I'm having, you know, c combining colors is nice, but when it's about woods, it looks a bit s silly to say, you know, having very bright wood and then dark wood, it doesn't fit in well together. And uh, I have also learned from other um, builders from other games, uh, like little tips. Uh, that the best thing you can do is keep it up to two to three different colors for your building in order to make it stand out and you know i've used a lot of this black stuff i'm using this kind of wood so basically i got one more color left and this is a little bit the lighter color which is the limestone the candle colors uh, uh, I, you know, I, I think we should go for this one and just see how it works out when there is a total picture. And if the total picture, you know, isn't satisfying enough, um, maybe you got like a tip uh, what else I could try. And then I, you know, I will just definitely give it, give it a go. But I think for now we should just keep with what we have and we can always change certain things later on. So what is the to do? Uh, what is left to do? So what is left to do is I'm going to need to fix up the balcony. And I'm just going to go up here and show it to you. This will be the balcony. It's going to be nice. And I'm going to, need to figure out a way how to get onto the roof uh, before closing it all up. I think, you know, I need to build like a wall two, maybe three high up. I think it was two. And then we're going to get onto the roof. Uh, so a little spot somewhere, I will just, uh, find something. Maybe I need to make another entrance here with a stairways. Uh, anyhow, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to, uh, oh yeah, I also think change this stuff here. Yeah, I did. So rather than using, th um, this stuff. Uh, which has a very big um, edge. I used uh, the one with the smaller edge. This is, I believe, this one. So as you can see, it has like a very small uh, edge. <laughs> well, that makes a lot of sense. Now I'm also wondering, is it this block why I'm getting stuck? No, it doesn't seem like it's this block. Alright, so let me just fix up a whole part here, so the video doesn't get too long. Some chandeliers, please. And I'm going to wonder, I am wondering, how it will look. Uh, it is not too bad, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still not sure about the texture though. That, that, that's, you know, that's logic. Oh, I'm at least glad that I got everything where it's supposed to be, except for the one in the middle. Man, that's a lot better. Very good. Starts to uh, be, you know, be filled in all. Now, to be real honest, I would say I'm missing a red kind of a carpet going through the building. But eh, I need to take a look at that another time. You know, just when I uh, have nothing to do. <laughs> because I think I'm... Oh. I think I'm going to need to uh, grow cotton or something like that, and I don't have cotton in my world. I can sp I can spawn in some seeds and trying to get like a cotton farm though, uh, but that's for another time. So the next thing that I am going to do, which I'm going to need to grab another bunch of ashlar basalt, uh, we're going to need to figure out the 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 height of the last part here. That's a lot better. Mm -hmm. 
that's a lot better and like I said maybe it would be an idea to cram in a little stairways going up I'm just gonna do like a small part with you guys and then anything else can be you know done off camera and also one thing you might have noticed is that I oh god left out the uh, small windows which I had at the corner here I might play something back uh, but for now I'll just leave it out because I didn't it didn't felt like it would fit in, something like that. This guy is also going to need to be this, so it looks like a nice part here. Now the important thing here is, you know, where are we going to cut stuff off and how are we going to make it look nice. Now this is a special treated wood and special treated wood is good, right? It's, you know, I'm trying to find my words. So this is going to be need to be up. But what are we going to do? Are we going to... Uh, where is it at? The upside down? Do we want to have it like that? How do we... I mean, this is fine. This is high enough. So then it's going to get pointy. And we're going to make like the um, the decorative type of deal from the, the side pillars there. Uh, it's going to be one higher than the, the roof up. And then I want to have like a small tower on these points. How are we going to get the upside down type of deal? That doesn't look too bad either. Looks a lot more smooth if you would. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go for this since it fits in more with the whole idea of all the, the well, all the art ways. I'm, I'm not really going to say, but a lot of stuff is like smoothed out rather than stairways. Uh, for example, the, the archway down here is smoothed out rather than stairways. Alright, so the only thing that I am going to, to figure out is the tower idea. And let's just fix a small part of this. Now this will be a tower. So I am going to need to add in a piece of roof, but not here, which will be like this. Aye, aye, aye. Now it's a little bit difficult part will come. And uh, so if you would though, I mean, nicely said, I'm already there. I can go onto the roof. <laughs> Uh, this is not how it's supposed to be. Alright, I made it into daytime so you guys can see at least better than, you know, when it's dark. Uh, so once again, and you know, I changed this stuff here. Which... I'm just gonna close it up like that. Beautiful. Take a look quickly how it looks here. I just wanna, you know, get that at least done and this here. So it looks... I mean, it is behind the scene type of deal, but still. Uh, so this looks like this. Then we can go around the corner here, get up the stairs. This will all be closed up. I'll probably end up asking you guys, should I add in something more to the building and just fix it off camera uh, after reading your comments. Uh, so we have this here, right? Uh, I can place this there. Uh, let's grab a piece of stairs. So we kind of get to the level of, you know, this piece. And I need to make it look nice. Now the problem is this cannot be there. But what I do have learned is to use these pieces. So I can, you know, get underneath without problems. Um, Snap. It is just a little too small though. Maybe I should ignore what I ever said and just made a entrance at the corner part i mean it's upstairs you don't really look at it too much just for maintenance someday sometime so we're going to the stairs up earlier doesn't make any sense or is it me mm, i think it's me so now i made the stairs up go earlier i can fix a door here and from the door i can get out i'll guess now I want to place a door here. It is blocked. Blocked by war. Blocked probably by this here. So uh, you know, while it doesn't make any sense, even though it does. So there is one more thing that I could 
can think of in order to solve the door problem without you know destroying the whole show too much uh, because there's like floor in here anyways is do it like that and then go up you know open it like that and then go onto the roof let me just fix a few couple more parts here so you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So the idea I had down here uh, is first of all, you need to imagine down here there's like another Ashlar stone, you know, going down like that. And then down here, it's just going to be continuous like this. Maybe I'm going to need to replace the, the bottom ones here and make like a beam going all over the place. Man, this is this is definitely the biggest project I I have. I mean, the community tower is still not finished, but it's just mainly because you know I'm not working on it. This actually do something like that, and then let's see, do we have something to put on top? Like a chimney? I mean, we don't have to make it smoky. Mm, could be. I would like something, something, something. You know, if I would have like a bigger building, I would just uh, use these parts, pieces, and you know, uh, I would just make it look like, you know, round, something like that. Uh, but what I have also said before at some part, uh, um, Ay, ay, ay. Maybe, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, I might find later on some parts and pieces uh, that can actually fit in. I'm going to do this at each, um, each beam part of deal. Uh, I will figure out what I'm gonna do exactly with the corner piece over there. It won't be a tower type of deal. Uh, I just need to figure out what I can do. Uh, so what I am going to do right now, it's going to get dark again. I'm going to miss out on certain pieces. This probably will take another day to set up. Well, I spent hours upon hours upon hours, but I finally got the God Church finished. And you know what the silliest thing is? At some point I was like, okay, it is done. And now we will never look at it again. Except we see sometimes the outside. So in case to, you know, let ourselves be rewarded for all of the work that we have done together into this church, besides some of the ideas that you guys can still put in to change a couple of things, um, you know, we need to have a reason to get into the building, right? We spent so much time onto it, so much resources, and I have a surprise indoors, which makes sure that we will come back to it. Now you might think, why do you show this us at night time? Well, that's because I got another surprise indoors. And when it's daytime, I will uh, show you some more of it. But yeah, as you can see, I got the towers up front finished. I got the uh, pointy roof finished. And I'm just gonna quickly walk here because I don't want to miss uh, what is indoors. So this is how I made the sides, just like that. And a little tower in the back. Let's get quick indoors. We have some doors in here. You can open them up. There we go. And I got, well, most of the lights turned on. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do that quick because, you know, daytime will be less of fun. But as you can see, it is finished. Uh, I only wish I could read those lights, but, you know, the roof is on there. Got a few couple of extra beams there for just a reason, but I will show you why that is. And I'm also seeing that I have missed one thing, though. You can see there's a beam on the left, there's no beam on the right. I'll make sure for the next time it is fixed up, alright? I just want to get this video up because it has been way too long already. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show you some more. Uh, I got also door on each side of um, this part where you go upstairs. And I have to say, you know, up here it, it does look cool. For some reason, it, it looks fresh, it looks nice and... Um, let me know, should I make that straight like that, or should I add in this beam down here? I'm not sure what I like more. Maybe that I like more than that. 
uh, let me know, let me know. Besides, if you have any ideas, let me know also, right? Now, I got this big window here. I'm not quite sure if I like it from the front. So also let me know, do you like the big window? Should it be changed? And should there be a window way in the back there? The reason why I let it closed up is because if the sun is high in the sky and it will shine through the, the upper window, people down there might get blinded by the sun. And everyone is facing the person that is speaking down there at the lectern. Uh, I got also doors at both sides uh, of, of this part and you know the tower is here. I had a lot of fun making these towers because I had to do it like stairways and I had to find my strategy uh, to work my way down when I was at the top. It was kind of fun to do and this is how it looks up on the roof. Yeah I think it worked out well and oh man what a project this was. It was absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I'm looking forward in the future to make another one of these uh, big things. And also, as you can see, I placed the statues more up at the point of detailing uh, edge. I think it looks way better. You know, from the darker point of view, it doesn't look too bad, though. Of course, I, you know, would, would like to make the tower next time more uh, square rather than how it is right now. Uh, I want to have these arches way higher and I would like to have a middle archer uh, because I have seen in uh, on Google when I was searching for more reference images, there is actually a guard church which have three archways. And the two outer archways are actually smaller than the one in the middle and it still looks well kind of good i would say yeah so i have one more surprise like i said there needs to be a reason to get in here i mean it looks amazing and to be fair if i don't find a reason to get back into this place i'll probably end up never seeing it again so i'm going to put up the subscribe accounts right in here because i think it's it i'm going to get in the cooking house a few couple of times anyway maybe not upstairs but it doesn't look as amazing as in this building this building you know it, it, it really you know we need really need to get a reason to get in here you guys will all be here and i will be here you know thank you guys and um you know and then i'll sit down somewhere here and you guys start to speak you know this is our uh, community um community place where we speak to each other bring in our ideas and thoughts and maybe do some rituals and pray the um our lord all or whatever uh so yeah let, let, let's just take a look how it looks from other perspectives and uh, you guys let me know all of the feedback that you have about this wow this is kind of how i imagine it when i said i want to have a massive god church down here you know, it looks, you know, the, 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 the front tower looks a bit weird because it's so thin. It needs to be more squarish. Um, but the back tower, yeah, that, that, it's... Yeah. It kind of looks nice, I guess. Yeah, so here we have a bit of daytime uh, view. I uh, had to put this backwards in order to make the thumbnail for this video. Uh, so with that being said... Once again, let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think of this? Let me know which part of the roof you like more. Is that that part without the beam? Is it with the beam? Do you like the window? Does, does there need to be a window there and why? And, and other, a few couple of other things. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the feedback already that I got onto this building. It was uh, uh, really nice to, to, yeah, to do stuff what you guys like to and uh yeah with that being said uh yeah have a nice weekend and uh thanks for watching